Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another math tutorial. Uh, as you can see from last lesson, we worked on how to find the area bounded by two curves. And you can see that we did all this working out. So all of this working out just to find the area between the two curves. And the answer was uh, 17.46 so I'm just gonna write that down first so the answer was uh, uh, 17 point, point four six area uh, units squared now uh, I wanted to show you guys a shorter way of doing this and the reason for not showing you guys earlier is because I wanted you guys to understand how uh, this is done before I show you the shortcut otherwise you guys would just be doing the shortcut not really understanding the whole concept so I want to talk a little bit about the reasoning behind the shortcut and the shortcut is Sorry, the reasoning is that if you integrate, uh, if you integrate a function of x dx, the integral of the function f of x dx plus the integral of another function g of x dx is equal to the integral of the two functions added together so f of x plus g of x dx okay so that's just the most basic integration rule you guys have used that already in our previous lessons uh, lesson one in fact of integration so uh, this will also work for minus so integral of f of x minus integral of g of x is equal to the integral of f of x minus g of x dx alright so using this rule on this question what happens is we have the line at the top which is the integral of uh, x squared, sorry, negative x squared plus 2x minus 8 dx minus the integral of x squared minus 2x plus 3 is equal to the integral of, oops, forgot the dx sign the integral of uh, negative x squared plus 2x minus 8 minus uh, x squared minus 2x plus 3 uh, this whole thing dx so I haven't integrated yet I'm just uh, simplifying it at the moment so now I can so I've just used the rule to combine the two integrals into one big integral and now I can simplify the terms inside this integral so now it becomes uh, negative x squared plus 2x minus 8 minus x squared plus 2x minus 3 dx right because I just expanded out this bracket here and now this becomes uh, integral of negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 11 dx and once you have done that uh, because this is the difference of the two integrals I can just get the definite integral from uh, x is negative 0 0.87 to positive uh, 2.87 so let's now find the definite integral from negative 
1.87 to 2.87 of the uh, equation negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 11 dx so now uh, the integral of this is equal to negative 2x cubed over 3 plus 4x squared over 2 minus 11x uh, 2.87 subbed in minus negative 0.87 so now uh, simplify this one first okay so now I'm gonna sub it in so negative 2 times 2.87 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 2.87 squared minus 11 times 2.87 minus negative 2 times negative 0 0.87 cubed over 3 plus 2 times negative 0 0.87 squared minus 11 times negative 0 0.87 and now I'm going to type all of this into the calculator and see what it equals Now I've just realized I made a little mistake and uh, it's not a mathematical mistake it's just the fact that I copied down the question wrong. So here f of x is negative x squared plus 2x instead of plus 8 like it said in the question somehow I put down minus 8 so you just got to watch out for these mistakes when you're doing the test unfortunately so change that all to plus and then here this minus 11 becomes uh, plus 5 plus 5 so oh, let me just rub it out so basically I'm changing all the minus 11 to plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 okay sorry about that mistake so if you didn't follow my where I made the mistake basically what I did was I copied down the question wrong so this is plus 8 and somehow I had minus 8 so I changed that to plus 8 fixed up everything uh, and then now when I put all this in the calculator I get uh, 15.06 minus negative 2.3972 which gives me uh, 17.46 again unit squared which is what I had before so this is a this is a pretty good shortcut okay for finding the area between the curves so basically instead of doing all of this uh, steps two to four that I had in the previous lesson the new step the new steps are to find the difference of the uh, of the integrals and then number three find the definite integral All right so it's a it's a lot easier than doing all of that uh, which you will experience pretty soon if you do the question okay now just before we move on I just want to show you guys what happens if the x-axis cuts the area that we're trying to find so let me just quickly draw a new graph so as you can see I've just drawn the same graphs in GeoGebra so the first equation is at the top and the second equation is at the bottom and uh, if I find the integral between them so integral between uh, these two functions negative x squared plus 2x plus 8 comma x squared minus 2x plus 3 from negative 0 0.87 to 2.87 and it gives me 17.46 
Okay, and now I'm going to move these two graphs uh, a bit further below so that the area cuts the x-axis. So I'm going to draw my first curve. I'm going to change the y-intercept from plus 8 to, let's say, plus 3. Okay, and I'm going to change the second curve, uh, which had the y-intercept of plus 3. I'm going to change it to negative. Uh, so my first curve, I've moved the uh, y-intercept down 5 units. So I'm going to move the second curve down 5 units as well. So I'm going to move it down to negative 2. And so you can see that all I have done is I've moved, I've shifted both lines five units down below. Okay, so the area should still remain the same. So uh, if I do in, uh, integral between and I change the top line from plus 8 to plus 3 and the bottom line from plus 3 to negative 2 and then the area is still 17.46 so that means that if the x-axis cuts the area of the curve we still do the exact same steps okay we still find the, uh, the difference between the two equations and then we simply get the answer from there it's exactly the same thing okay so hopefully you guys learned something from this tutorial uh, see you guys next time thanks for watching